Why did you bring me here? Look, bring you here, lady. I just woke up. Look, look, I was drugged. Some asshole stuck me last night. Come on, see, please, come on. Huh? Huh? <laughs> well, you woke up. Yeah, you? Next door. Bunch of rooms out there. Is it just us? The first door I tried. What's the last thing you remember? Gorgeous brunette at the end of the bar. Oh. What, just because I'm Irish, you think I'm a drunk? I was having fucking ginger ale. What about you? I uh, don't exactly remember. I don't remember. Well, forgive me if that doesn't do it for me. Because when it comes to a syringe in my neck, I tend to be specific. Now you're my new best friend. Oh, we're not friends. Come on, give us a chance, yeah? Maybe he's take his thieves in no time. I'm holding you responsible for what I was doing down number two. Hmm? Right then. After you. Relax. We're locked in here, too. I don't believe you. You got one of these? I said stop. If you're trying to cut through, it won't work. No shit. I think burns hot than lava. You start melting the metal, maybe burn the whole place down. How do you know? My father's in the trade. What trade? Contracting. What's on the other side of this door? A way out, I was hoping. You. What's her name? Kate. I'm rolling if anyone gives a shit. We're here for a reason. What is that? A reason. The plans to a vault inside the Matheson Museum. The what? It's in Cleveland. Oh, we're supposed to go to Cleveland. Wait. 
Are we in Cleveland? What in the name of Jays are we doing in Cleveland? Where were you last? New York. Arizona. You? Toronto. Vacation. Someone went to a lot of trouble to bring us here. So whatever the score is, it's got to be worth it. Score, huh? I don't want you talking to you. I'm a law abiding citizen. Contracting, right? That's the one. What if this were a score? What would it be? I don't know. Maybe Christ is enough to take down the whole building. Where the hell is it? I guess we're supposed to figure that out. Why the hell do you keep running toward all the scary shit? Who the hell is this guy? Hey! Tell us what you're doing here? Same thing you're doing, I'd imagine. Trying to get out of here alive. He tried to escape. Schedule to keep. You're cutting it awfully close. You've had months. Have you ever known me to let you down? This isn't exactly the plan we signed up for. Why are you here, Jerry? Because they're worried. Because it's tonight, and because I want to make damn sure our investment is safe. Is it? Look for yourself. You know, I've been doing this a long time. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that people are who they are. I look at this and I wonder, what makes you think that they're going to do what you want them to do? Well, because they have no choice. Because they are who they are. What's this? I'm not the one who's going to have to pay if this doesn't work out. Always nice to chat, Theo. Lovely to see you too, Jerry. Coming out to say hello. Well, 
Let's just say I'm a bit shy by nature, and I wanted to know who I was dealing with first. So satisfied? Entirely. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, you have to admire the humor of the situation. I mean, four thieves locked up, and we haven't even committed a crime yet. Thieves? You know, we'll have you know I'm a contractor. Oh, of course you are, my dear. Now listen up, kids. If you want to know what's going on, take a good look around you. We're all players, experts in our fields. Get to the point. You want to know the point, big guy? The point is, we're all career criminals. And this is a four-man crew. The mechanic, rough, brawny. And you, dear lady, graceful, nimble. You're the B&E specialist. We call them cat burgos back in my day. And that leaves you, slick-fingered devil, the safe cracker. What does that make you, smart guy? I guess that makes me the smart guy. So, anybody figure out what we're supposed to steal yet? You pricks did your homework. <laughs> Who are you? Well, I'll start with the more infamous first. Boston Museum, 18th of March, 1990. Nah. Oh, yes. The frames of the pictures are still hanging on the wall. No way that was you. Grayson Bishop, and it most certainly was. In fact, I still have one of the Van Goghs hidden in a basement somewhere to prove it. So an old school master thief, huh? Maybe you're the one behind this. Teach yourself a few new tricks. <laughs> I seriously doubt there is anything you could teach me. Besides, do you think I would try to blow myself up? This doesn't make any sense. Why us? Well, I'm the very best at what I do. And I'm assuming you are as well. Otherwise, I would be completely insulted. It would be easier to hire us, no? Maybe. Or maybe it's someone who knows that we would never work for them. Or better yet, maybe it's someone that one of us fucked over. Like you. You got enemies, kid? Because believe me, I have a long list. Don't call me kid, you old fogey. You make me glad I'm an orphan. And an angry one at that. So what are we gonna do? We live or we die. Doesn't sound like much of a choice to me. Excellent conclusion, Dan. What's this? Our border guy. He's reliable. Right? He is. We've used him before. You paid top dollar. He was instructed to turn off the cameras, was he not? Yes, sir. By you? Yes, I told him. figure it out. I'll talk. I'll talk to him. You weigh a 
took 75 kilograms that night. Yeah. Shouldn't take too long. And please, just don't fight it. It's easier that way. <laughs> See, Harris, every piece has a purpose. And every move has a meaning. And if you can't follow the rules, everyone loses. You're in charge now, and be careful decontaminating. We have to gain access through the main elevator. Then, we have to open a security door with an electronic lock. Next, we navigate a tunnel secured by motion sensors, and then, Unbreakable tempered glass. Once through, it's the vault room, which brings us to the custom 1970s Mosler. Even if you could do all that, which you can't, what's your exit plan? I was thinking I'd just walk out the front door. It's kind of the point of not setting off any alarms. That much security, what's in the vault? Gold. Bonds? It's diamonds. What? It's diamonds. It all started right here. John D. Rockefeller, son of a con artist, became one of the wealthiest men in America. So he had diamonds, a lot of diamonds. Hidden assets from the government, I assume. Anyway, they're all stored right here in the museum, at least for now. I mean, they move them around from time to time. It was last rumored that they were in Italy. Florence, to be exact. How do you know? It's about the Mosler. You see, it's a bit of a legend in certain rarefied circles. It's never been cracked yet, though it has been tried. Sounds like a bunch of bullshit. Could be, but our captive believes it's true. So then what do they want us to do? Draw them a map? They've already got the blueprints. They want us to steal it. No. They want us to pretend to. <laughs> How's that for a slice of humble pie? <laughs> it's right this way, guys. Why well, we should we trust you, pups? Maybe you're walking us to an early grave. This whole place is a grave. Well, you shouldn't trust me. I don't trust you. I mean, after all, we are criminals. You're a real ray of sunshine, you know that? I mean, you're a shoe size passing for an IQ, dear boy. There it is. Look at that. Just look at the blueprints. Did they build a replica of the museum? <sighs> they want us to practice the heist. They're going to watch our every move, and when we're done, boom. And then? And someone else follows in our footsteps. And we are all OK with these. Do we have any other options? Thought you were the safe cracker. This isn't a safe, it's a computer. No, it's not, it's a puzzle. It's a Henderson digital lock, it releases. The way it works, it has four bolts from the door to the frame. Now I can use the lens. That's unnecessary. Well, yeah, why is that? Because this particular lock depends on a person, a person who comes up with a four digit pen. Yeah, well, that's like a million different combinations. Permutations. And it's 9,999, give or take a fraction or two. But you see, our advantage is that Henderson keypads use silicone with positive printing. What the hell does that mean? Well, what that means is that the surface clings to the oil from our fingertips. Move over, kid. You're blocking the view. All right. Should be easy. 24 permutations. And voila. There it is. 
How did you know the combo? I don't know the combo. I know people and I know my keypads. Yeah, with a keypad at the museum, it's not going to be the same code. And this is just a replica. Well, then it's a good thing. We'll all be dead and it won't be us actually pulling the heist then, isn't it? security system all have an off switch. That's where it is. That's where they hit the bomb. They found the replica. They're behind. What about Grayson? Played out just like you said it would. He got everyone on task, and he cracked the security code quick. And now, showtime. Now, we brought the whole tool shed. There's nothing in there to protect from lightsabers. What's she on about? I can do it. Do what? We need to redirect the laser. Did you bring the mirror? I was just, uh, looking for a weak spot. It's hard work leading a crew. I'm not leading anything. See, it's not just about skills. It's about personalities. You know, Mag, she's strong and silent. Bruised, but very reliable. You know, Rowan, he's a joker, but he knows his shine. You know me? I'm the wise-ass wise man. What about you, Kate? What are you gonna bring to the party that's gonna take us to the promised land? Well, I'm not taking you anywhere. I don't know you. I know you. Shall we cut the crap? Excuse me? You're Bingham Paxton's granddaughter. Corsica Cabal. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm spoken like a career criminal. There's no point in us lying to each other. We're all in this together. You mind me asking, how did he get pinched? 
Your grandfather was a brilliant man, and I was an admirer. It was a job. Italy. I was trying to crack a vault, and I took too long. Police were supposed to be diverted, but... I escaped with the rest of the crew. My grandfather took the fall. What kind of vault? What kind of vault, Kate? It's important. A Mosler. A Mosler. This was your grandfather's final score. He died in prison, didn't he? And it's all your fault. You have the answers to everything. Listen to me. We do not have to do what they want us to do. You and I could figure something out. We don't have to play their game. I don't have to play your game either. I don't think you understand the variables here. We're pawns. We're pawns in something much bigger. Hey. We are ready. Ron's got an idea for the glass. Here's the news. Pro-rated 10-hour tempered glass. Steel can be cut, stone can be broken. Well, this is some new age superhuman shit. It's the kind insurance companies love to see. And the vibration will be able to undermine the strength of the glass. said was we might be able to weaken it. We need a minute. Hell with this. I'll join you. Supposed to be some kind of an expert. Oh, Christ, will you back off? Are all girls in Arizona this mean, or is it just you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, let me guess. Cancun, Acapulco. On your skills breaking into rich tourist hotel rooms. Sinaloa. Cartel country. No wonder you're so friendly. Well, I was raised in the Madrigal crew. So all my friends are dead. Fair enough. This is not about me. This is about Kate. I overheard her talking to Grayson. She's Caval. You don't say. Granddaughter of the great Bingham himself. Hmm. And I do not trust her. Trust is hard to come by these days. I think that maybe we should keep an eye on her. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on everyone. You are an idiot if you are not scared of them. You should be. They could be behind this, and we have the cub in our den. What exactly do you want me to do about it? I want to show them that we are serious. Come up with anything? Pass me the uh, splicer there. So what did you and Grayson talk about? The score? 
Yeah, what else? Play poker? No. Yeah, you should. You're a great lawyer. What? You're working with them. Who? La Caval. I don't know what you're talking about. I overheard you talking to Grayson. You're Caval, and they are behind this. Why would they do that? They are the only ones with the resources for this, no? You're making a mistake. We need each other if we're going to get out of here. I think that maybe you need us. And they need you in one piece. And maybe, if they are worried about you, they'll pop up in the door. Only if they know that we are serious. What the hell is going on here? Nothing important, just a small hiccup in group trust. Don't be absurd. Then what are you doing? Take it easy, old boy. We need her. She's Cabal. So what? She was a Cabal. She's not anymore. Believe me when I tell you this, she is not the one responsible for all this. Who do you know? She would never be caught dead working for scum. The likes of Theodore Thurlow the Third. <laughs> Who the hell is Theodore Thurlow the Third? I mean, did we get kidnapped by a night at the round table? <laughs> He's the man behind this current predicament. And believe me, indirectly he has a deep connection to you. It's bollocks, mate. You were born in Dublin, weren't you? Yeah, I was. Theo had some crews there back in the day. You see, the one thing you have to know about our boy, he doesn't like to leave witnesses, even crew. I understand there were a lot of bodies left behind in Dublin when he pulled out. You did say you're an orphan, didn't you? And you, my dear, you were part of the magical crew. Well, of course, you don't have a crew anymore. They all went the way of the bullet except you. That's a terrible shame, though, isn't it? A street kid like you raised in the gutter. I understand that Theo used to recruit all the urchins at the streets in Mexico. Only he didn't treat them so good. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think I do. In fact, I think Dickens wrote a book about it. Scooped up. Taught to steal, taught to kill, turned into something that you absolutely despised, and then betrayed and left for dead. What is that little punch you got there? How do you know Theo? What did he do to you? Well. It's more like what I did to him. The paintings. Boston Museum, you screwed him over. No, I did not screw him over. Let's just say I got the first punch in and won the day. Now he's taking his revenge. It's all bullshit. You know that, right? You don't know shit about us. Well, then let's just say I came up with a good cover story for you. You better listen up and listen to me real good people. You're gonna have to be a lot smarter about what you're doing if you plan on getting out of here alive. Time to start phase two.
What are you doing? Well, we should all be doing. Trying to find a way out. You're wasting your time. No, you're wasting our time. I think they just leave this open so you could climb up. What do you know? I know that someone has their finger on a trigger. Not much else I need to know. You don't like me. Fine, I get it. No. No, you don't get it. You don't get a fucking thing. Your cabal, with all your rituals and your rules and your lines of succession, all of that shit, is just a bunch of spoiled, entitled aristocrats playing pirate. You don't know what you're talking about. Everything that I know, I learned myself. I didn't have no private lessons in some European castle. You know, I fought and I bled. And I'm gonna do the same thing to get out of here. This won't end the way you think it will. Not if we don't work together. Ladies, what? What, what did you do? Nothing. Bullshit, you did nothing. Because I know I did nothing and you two were... Wait, what are you doing? Not running around like rats in a maze. A lantern, Jesus, you sound like Grace. Can one of you explain to me why we only have two hours left, huh? What? That's not right. We should have a little under three. Well, you must have pissed somebody off then, what? Now, can we get back to work, please? Why? This whole thing is obviously rigged. Maybe. But Rowan's right, and we need your help. There is no we here, okay? There is today. What the hell was that? I smell smoke. Where's Grayson? I'm gonna sniff the last time we checked. Forgive the chicanery, my friends. Damn it, prick! What's the bastard? Do you know how to fix this? Just give me a minute, will you? You always did have a big laugh at me, didn't you, big guy? Well, it's nice to know that today is gonna be more of the same. treacherous prick. So grab a handful of asshole and pucker those lips and start smooching. He's probably looking for a way out. Cut me a prick. 16,000 degrees of separation and I spit my last breath in your face. It's gonna burn the whole place down. He might actually get through. Arm um, it. You sure? Arm um, it. <sighs> Hurry! Shut up, will you? That could be some bollocks. He's gonna get us all killed. <laughs> Go! Sure. Wait. I'll do it. Give you guys a head start. Part of the sea, so to speak. I'm afraid it's 
up to you to take him to the promised land. Just, just stay still. See it through. Go back, I want to know what he told her. Can't make it out. Well, try harder. I can't. Kai, try harder. Grayson never was a team player. I just meant he... The man was an artist. He pulled off the greatest art heist in history. Show some goddamn respect. <laughs> Jerry. Please don't try to tell me that this was part of the plan. It wasn't entirely unexpected. I have no idea what that means. What it means, Jerry, is that he fulfilled his role. And sometimes you have to trade a pawn to put your pieces in the right position. You just remember who you're playing with. No more sacrifices. Get me those diamonds. Jason went out it alone, and look what happened to him. I'm not, we're not gonna make the same mistake. If we're gonna win this, we need to get through it. You have a choice to make. I've made mine. We either die in here or we get out together. Why'd you do it? Do what? Rob those banks. Was it for yourself or for someone else? Let's just say the Irish system for young lads without a family isn't all that great. I'm sorry. Pretty soon you find your family on the inside is with a hell of a lot more of whatever fucked up situation you have on the outside. Charlie Swan. Steel. Steel. Tungsten carbide. Cobalt. Bollocks. Nothing? It's got an extremely high surface compression stress resistance. At least a nine on the most scale. What's that? Means it's hard as hell. Can anything cut through it? Diamonds. But unless you got yourself engaged lately, you're on the wrong end of the vault for that. But anything else? Corundum, ceramic. Where are you going? Please. 
Wagon. Hey, Wagon. Hey, What am I looking at here? Spark plug. It's where my tip. <laughs> How would you know that? My grandfather. Excuse me. You have something to build this with? Yeah, oh, it's good too. Yeah. Look at that. You sure she can do it? I'm sure. How do you know? Because she hates me too much to fail. They all do. So how much time do you need? How much time we got? 33 minutes. Is it possible? It'll have to be. Sorry. Sorry, it was three hours ago. Really, what time? She needs our help. She needs to focus. Just leave her alone. Alone? We're a team. One of us goes down, we all do. Look, I, I know you don't play well with others. You got the whole lone wolf act down. We get that. You can't go through life on your own. I've gotten by so far, so thank you very much. Have you? Because it seems to me like you need a hand up from time to time. When you're on the ground, in the gutter, you know who reaches for you? People who want to use you, take advantage of you, who act like you owe them your life. Whatever happened to you, I'm sorry. We need you, and I'm pretty sure you need us as well. Right? What about the liquid nitrogen? Can we freeze the lock? Maybe. It's a long shot, but it's worth a try. Look, we have an idea. Liquid nitrogen. No, it, it won't work. There's a pressure-loaded firing pin. It'll trigger the relock and they'll never get it open. How much time do we have? 21 minutes. You can do it. Hmm. 
Sure they're gonna see us. Luke the fee with the drone's memory can. All that pricks looking at is Kate sweating over and over again. Pack it up. Let's try another garage, shall we? I'm at the blade in the A-team. We don't have time. Well, well, let's get going, then. Let's look 
though. We're just trying to make it more dramatic. Let's go. We have some shopping to do. Theo's crew. Wait. And you... I find Theo's crew. I'll take care of them all. You just worry about the vault. You remember what I showed you, yeah? Are you sure you want to do this? He threw us in a hole and left us for dead. I'm not gonna let him get away with it, are you? Oh, it could be a trap. He thinks we're dead. He's never gonna see us coming. Not till the diamonds are long gone. Your grandfather's favorite. I'm not here for a drink. I'm here for the diamonds. I hope you're all, darling. Tell me something. What did you see? Wealth and privilege? You know what I see? I see the lies they tell in the morning. These people, they're here to impress, to make a mark, to be seen. I'm not. What? Here to be seen. Just like that? They think it's an end to itself, but, but I just don't have time for that. Oh, what then? Hmm? What do you have time for? Well, I like to enjoy the finer things, but the acquisition of those things, that's for them. I'm addicted to savoring the subtleties, Kate. I love the game. Just don't much care for the prize. You really should try it. The king and pawn endgame, it's a difficult position. Tell me something, Kate. Will you become queen? I guess we'll find out. Well, game on.
I'm here. Elevator is on its way. Up to the president's side. Hmm. Mag, you there? I cannot find Theo's crew. Keep looking. Is that you? You the f Can you hear me? Ah! <sighs> 
You never leave this scene with a score. My grandfather taught me that much. I'm not holding a carrot. <laughs> if you kill me, your diamonds will be gone. I promise you that. So you don't care about your own life. What about Rowan's? I just met Rowan today. What makes you think I care? Because I know you, Kate. It's why I picked you. It's why I picked all of you. It's why I allowed you to escape. You knew we'd escape? Of course. But you tried to kill us. That was motivation. But the other team... There is no other team, Kate. <sighs> just you. Every move you made, every action you took, you did it because I planned it and I wanted it that way. You were pawns. You know? Is this another chess thing? Again, because I should mention I'm more of a Monopoly girl. Thimble. Top hat. I want the diamonds, King. If you kill me, you have nothing. I have Rowan. And we can make him talk eventually. But Rowan doesn't know where the diamonds are. It's just me. And if I die, your diamonds are gone. That would be a mistake. For you. See, there's no way that you finance this whole thing yourself. So, I'm betting you had a buyer. A buyer who fronted you enough for this whole operation, the replica and all. And I'm gonna bet that this buyer isn't the type to just write this off if you don't deliver. So, am I close? Jesus Christ. Sorry, Kate. Ah! <laughs> 
How much is he paying you? I didn't pay her. I raised her. <sighs> Kate, let's just stop this, all right? Make it easy on ourselves and just tell me where the diamonds are. The diamonds are the only thing keeping me alive. The diamonds are going to get you killed. And is it worth it? No. But making you fail, that's something I would die for. Shoot her. We should just take her and go. She'll talk. Eventually. You know, I don't think she will. We need to reassess, and we need to clear the board. I don't want any loose ends. Shoot her. No, we need to get out of here now. This is not the time or the place for this. What did you say? I'm just saying that I think that there is... I'm sorry. For what? Don't listen to her. For what he did to you. For what he made you become. Magdalena. Do it. Do it. Do it! I love you like a daughter, you know that. Like a daughter. I'm sorry. What did you do to her? What did I do to her? I saved her, okay? Her family dead. She was on the street, and I gave her everything. What do you care? You turned her into a weapon. I saved her from becoming a corpse, and you made me shoot her! I really didn't want it to end this way, Kate. Come in here and save your arses again, what? You left him in a bleeding bush. Thought you were smarter than that. Yeah. I was hoping Theo would too. Are you all right? I take no chances anymore. <laughs> Swiss after twist for you, huh? It's like screwing off a bottle cap. <laughs> no, it hurts to laugh. Here, give us a look at ours. You took a chance on me. You didn't have to. It wasn't a chance, it was a choice. You made one too. Don't worry, we're good. And yeah, that was beautiful, just uh, gorgeous. But uh, Mag's just been shot and bleeding outside a church, and you're holding a bag of diamonds, so I think we better skedaddle. Yeah. There's a couple of things I want to take care of.
Yes, boy, Balik, she baldy prick. Grayson. That cocky bastard. Mm. Wasn't too hard to find the painting? Oh, I slipped through. Thank you. You got something for me? Thanks for saving me a step. Never liked that guy. I'll be in touch. <laughs> so, what's next? We all betray each other. Kate turns out to be Grace's daughter. <laughs> We whip off my mask and a Scooby Doo. <laughs> Maybe. But first, you ever been to Italy? Italy, we already decided in the last seat. 